Okay, so uh, Dr. Brad Thompson, thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview. I know you're the oh. C- CEO of uh, Weirvin Sciences, and you're doing some uh, great work in gene therapies. Is that correct? Yeah, we've always thought that gene therapies uh, have a place in, in the th- kind of therapeutic paradigm for, for treating not only diseases, but for um, being able to take our first steps into, into if you want to think about turning back the clock on, on the age of uh, different organs in the body. And uh, Wyvern is the first step of that particular journey um, that we've embarked on. And we've just actually finished enrolling in our first small pilot study, clinical study with patients. And uh, we're about to start our second uh, pilot study in, in about six weeks. And uh, it's, it's, it's actually very gratifying to actually be starting to treat people uh, with, you know, with gene therapies um, to try to get us along that pathway. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, you're going to be speaking at RADFest, which you're very excited about. I'm coming to RADFest. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm terribly excited. It's, it's, I had no idea, honestly, about the, the breadth and depth of the, of the penetration that RADFest has had in this community. It's just, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, it's just quite, quite uh, astounding. And I'm, I, I'm thrilled to be coming. I just, that's, um, it's, I'm been counting the days. So been, <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> people, you know, historically have talked about lifespan extension with kind of a, you know, slightly bit of tongue in cheek or whatever expression you want to use. But I think, you know, there's a real desire for people not only to live longer, but to have a, you know, the quality of life through that period of time. And, and all the technologies that you guys have talked about at Radfest and we'll be talking about this year. Um, aren't just to extend your life so you're sitting in the corner living longer. They're, they're all about um, improving the health and quality of life of, of, of individuals. Exactly. So. Yeah, that's true. That's what everybody says. Uh, and, and that's why people have uh, described the event as electrifying because we're people that have come together with that same purpose. And even though there's a lot of different differences, of course, and that needs to be, there's no you know, problem in that, different opinions and everything, but we all have that same common strand with a passion for life, and that's what brings us together. So, so can you tell us a little bit, give us a little bit of a, without maybe revealing everything, because you're always having new things come forth now, and what, what, what I know what you shared with me, and I think is very exciting, is this new gene, uh, is it actually a gene therapy for skin, for the whole body skin. Can you share a little bit about that? No, that's a major thing you're going to be talking about, but can you give people a little bit of a glimpse what that's all about? The, the skin is the largest organ in your body, right. and it, it, it has it, many, many functions. I mean, one, its prime function is actually to protect you from, from infection. I mean, that, that's it, exactly. its biggest job. And because of that, it actually is in direct contact with um, uh, I mean, a part of the immune system that's based on dendritic cells. And so basically half your immune system is, is derived from your skin. And so uh, when you get older, your, that, that immune function starts to decline. Um, I, people get a little disturbed when I tell them what happens to their immune system when they get older. But you know, when you're 40, your immune system is basically half of what it was when you're 20. And mm. when you're 60, yeah. you're older. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, me, um, <laughs> then, then uh, you know, what led us into this was thinking that if you could actually regenerate the skin, turn the clock back uh, to when it was, you know, say, a 20-year-old skin, um, and, and not just in appearance, but in function, you know, the old, wow. the, yeah. the, the, the boing test, the boing um, test yeah. which you, that's the result of, of, of turning the clock back on the skin. But the, the, the result from a, uh, immune system perspective is that you'd actually turn half your immune system back to where it was when it was peak performance. And, um, and, and that'll do all sorts of things. I mean, it'll reduce the incidence of cancer. It'll reduce the incidence of infection. And it'll also just by default extend lifespans because, I mean, your immune system is a huge amount of, of your maintenance function in your body. Um, and, and once we have that, that gene profile done, um, then we'll be able to fix it. Wow. <laughs> and wow. the assumption is, is that you know, we'll be able to regenerate, get people back chronologically back to 20 year old skin. That's Beautiful. the goal. That's, that's, yeah. that is so exciting. That, that's how I know that's hard to, for some people to really perceive or get, but I mean, that's, it's really happening. And, uh, from what, from what I understand you have, you already have the basic, uh, whole uh, platform for this therapy. Is that correct? 
Yes, it, it, mm -hmm. and that is the case. I mean, in Wyvern, we're actually looking at lungs first. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. and so we're looking at both sides of that mirror in lungs first. We're upregulating and downregulating certain uh, genes um, that are all immune-related. And once we've demonstrated that we can do that, then we can transfer that technology to the skin. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty exciting to actually be treating patients with, with the gene therapy. Right. Um, you know, and I should have data on all 10 of those patients in time for RADFest. So wow, that is me. so I'm, – I, I'm off my chair now. That is, that is phenomenal news. I'm so happy to hear that. I know everybody listening is going to want to be at RADFest to hear that great – that new news. And, uh, I, you know, I, I'm thinking – I think you mentioned this that – uh, I mean, by rejuvenating the skin to that youthful state and building the immune system like it will do, uh, I would think just common sense. I mean, I'm not a scientist myself, but common sense tells me that that has to be able to also extend life to some, to oh, some well, extent. It, it, to build, yeah. I mean, the things that people have seen by looking at pieces of it right. have indicated that even if you just do a piece of that, um, you you do get lifespan extension. Right. And, uh, uh, and that's – so by doing it all, I would expect that we will have a, a significant impact on lifespan. And, and so many people are concerned today. They'll say, well, I want my life extended, but I want it extended in some decrepit state. Like today with the yeah. silver tsunami and all these people living longer but not, not healthy. Well, this will enable a person to actually – I mean, look good and have extended lifespans. And, and yeah, I mean, the old, the old, right. uh, well, there you are. There you <laughs> are. <laughs> Without surgery. Um, but, you know, I mean, if we can do it for skin, then, and, and I know there's other people working on other organs, we can, we can look at other organ regeneration too. And, uh, I mean, I'll be talking about this at, at Radfest. Cause and uh, so I, I, you know, I think putting all those things together, uh, we're, going to, we're going to have lifespan extension in time for you and me to partake in that, Beautiful. which is yeah, that's, also that, part of all yeah. of this too, right? Well, that, that exactly. I've always said I don't want to be, just be a pioneer bringing in this new age. I want to be a part of it. So I don't, I don't care about having a statue in some square somewhere that I help pioneer it. I want to be alive, you know, so and I know that's what we all feel. And this is, this is such great news for all of us. It's, it's great news for every human being on the planet. Well, thank you. It was a very beautiful interview. Again, thank you. And uh, I'm excited. I know everyone's going to hear this interview is going to be very excited to uh, meet you and uh, hear you at Radfest. So thanks again. Okay. Thank you, Jim.